All right, here we are at the Hillcrest house and uh, move out day. We got her all done, just finished mopping the floor, so we are done. We're going to take you guys on a little tour and show you what the finished product looks like. Been a lot of work, but here she is. Okay. Laundry room. We actually at one point thought about just moving the kitchen over there, doing an L shape, but for a while that we decided to, to do it this way. Before, like the kitchen was just here and a bar came out here, and then there was nothing over there. But we kind of made this the main kitchen, and then this, and we kind of um, we ran out of cabinet here, so like I've seen a lot where people do like desk areas. Um, so we made that little desk area there kitchen come as a kit so we could have ordered trim and extra cabinets for it but it was quite expensive so we decided to try to stain match and as you can see so like the crown molding is stain matched and this little piece I built here yeah Sharon Williams did that for us we took on one of the doors of the cabinets and that is built and some of the filler strips are built and you wouldn't know it unless you wouldn't notice it unless you know it that's and now we just told you so maybe you'll notice but they won't notice. i hope you didn't before so the stain match came out really nice to save us quite a bit of money by doing it ourselves getting our own crown molding and staining it putting it up ourselves oh right. yeah um <clears throat> We've done some kitchens before and like we've been like back and forth between like oh do we need crown molding do we not need crown molding because like normally when you buy cabinets that's like an option and that's not something that um you know you, you uh necessarily get it's like an extra thing if you are doing a kitchen and you are thinking about crown molding or no crown molding just get some crown molding <laughs> no, that's if you have the basic cabinets. If you have the cabinets that go to the ceiling, then you're good to go. But uh, crown molding really does a lot for a kitchen, in my opinion. Yes, I think so too. Definitely top this one off. Crown molding and backsplash are probably two things that really set off a kitchen. Um, in case you didn't know. The backsplash, that's like the worst thing, like the hardest thing for me to pick out. Like, I was kind of in a tizzy, like, between like how many different ones. A tizzy is right. I mean, I went like four or five different places and I'm gonna had like samples several have. samples that I just had to like return later and like probably like seven different know, samples because it's like so hard to pick stuff when it's like a small scale and it's going to be a big scale um I think it turned out good um but yeah that's like always the hardest for me I was feeling like as we were going there was like a lot of gray in the house like always too much gray with like the trim being gray and everything um, and I wanted to bring in like some teal, and the backsplash is like slightly more, um, baby blue than teal. I was thinking on the paper, like sample that we had, um, it had like a white backing on it. I thought it was going to be more teal. It's more of a baby blue, but it's still okay. So I tried to put some teal in, um, a couple of the palettes I stained teal. And then most of them were just like that, except for the dark ones, but I really enjoy the variation and then we got a couple signs and painted those the teal and so this is probably where the majority of our time was spent and money too this in the master ba <laughs> bathroom
bedroom number two. What's this, guest bathroom? Uh, just bathroom. It's kind of small, but it'll do. I really thought about taking that out and putting a new shower in, but we decided we're just going to go with it, so I actually bought a toilet the same color <laughs> to match it, believe it or not. But, um, yeah. I like the way this vanity turned out. I actually just um, painted this, and then we bought this um, countertop and sink to go on top of it. But, um, I like the way We put new controls in the shower, all new hardware. Plumbing's all new. Yeah, like electrical, plumbing. New doors. Because this is like a new house, pretty much. And this is the master bedroom. I really wanted to do a pallet wall on that. All like an accident pallet wall, but I don't know. It's just like, man, our projects have been sitting stretched out and pushed out. And are you just say, like so much stuff that needs done and Are you yeah. saying for once you made it easier on the contractor? Yeah. This time. We are making gains, people. Okay, now this is a big transformation. Uh I'm sure you've seen in the other video, like the bathroom before was like really small, had like an eighteen inch sink. And then there actually was a doorway here that was the closet. Really nice size closet, but we thought the master bathroom needed to be bigger, so this is what we ended up doing with it. We took the wall out and we made the closet just on that wall and made it smaller. Um, we kind of splurged a little bit on the closet door. I kind of wanted like a statement piece in here. And then also the shower. Um, we took there was like a little bit of storage area in the other bathroom that was really narrow and just seemed really awkward to me. And there's already like a linen closet here. So we actually just opened that space up to this room and made the shower bigger. Kind of tucked it back in the corner there. Yeah. So now we got a four foot shower, but only using two foot of our, our two and a half foot of the this. bathroom. Um, it, I just don't feel like it's a decent size closet. Um, I would have liked to lift it bigger, but we kind of wanted a bigger vanity and, you know. Plus people, there. that's a pretty decent size master bedroom. So, I mean, you can move some dressers and other stuff in here for storage too, so. This thing has come a long way. He worked really hard on this. Um, there was like trees growing up through the old deck and like the boards were all rotted. Like we had to take all that up. Um, and he uh, put these on. We decided we really like struggled with the design of the, the railing. We went back and forth with different ideas and this is finally what we came up with and I'm glad we did. I like it. Um, I like the way it looks. But this will be nice for people. I mean, it's got a pretty decent size yard. And then, you know, if you've got kids or dogs, so. Yep, we like it. Okay, pull you up a seat and let me tell you what we did to this place. So, as you can see, we put all new doors in. Exterior doors, interior doors, all brand new. All new flooring throughout the whole house. All new trim, base, casing. All new cabinets, countertops, backsplash. Um, kitchen sink, faucet, bathrooms, I mean all the sinks and as everything's new except for the small bathroom vanity is repainted. But refurbished. It's, like, it's refurbished. Yeah, that, that's, I like the way, I like refurbished. All new lighting, all new electrical, all new plumbing, new roof, new deck. There was a big deck out front and it just kind of took over the house, the, the appeal of the house. So we took that off. Kind of refurbished the concrete, put a new porch post up, new porch ceiling, all new soffit and overhangs, all new gutters. Our little bay window. We should probably get a close up of that. Yeah, bay window turned out pretty sweet. Like we uh, took the wood up that was there and. Yeah, we put all new wood down, new trim obviously, but the, the wood was just looking a little rough. And we also, he replaced some of the uh, window panes. The seal was broken, so he. Uh, Replace those. Yeah, it was leaking a little bit too, so we got new seals on the outside and new window panes, so I think it should be pretty good now. 
a little rough on top of it. That is what you call an accent rough. Yeah. The driveway is new. They took a, a day and worked hard on that. How about this little creation? So that little thing is a creation of the bay window roof and the leftover pallet pieces. Yeah, we had some leftovers and we had stuff just like scattered everywhere when we were done. So. That's the result of that. They came together and they had a baby and that was it. That's it. And that's the baby. That was Tiffany's design. Put it <laughs> together. She had an idea and I made it happen and that's what happened. There it is. That's it, folks. video we put together um, like and subscribe for more videos projects flips whatever else we get into um, we thank you guys for watching and follow on along for more projects and uh, this is us peace and out Whoa.